Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lesson 5, group functions part 3. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to include or exclude group rows by using the having clause. Suppose we want to find the maximum salary in each department but only for those departments which have more than one employees. When we execute QL, we will get an error message. Group function is not allowed here. What does it mean? Take a look there. Inside the WHERE clause, we use the group function. Remember, group function cannot be used inside WHERE clause. If we have a condition that involves group function, we need to use HAVING clause. This is the syntax. Select a column name, group function, from table name, where we have a condition, group by, we have the group by expression, then after that we can have having clause which is the group condition then we can also have order by column name in the same way you use the where clause to restrict the rows that you selected you can use having clause to restrict groups in a query using a group by and having clause the rows are first grouped group functions are applied and then only those group matching the having clause are displayed Let's take a look on the implementation. So previously, if you want to find average salary for each department, this is the SQL that we can do. Okay, select department ID, average salary from employees, group by department ID, order by two. Okay, so means if you take a look here, uh, we will uh, sort by ascending order of the uh, of average salary. Okay, department 50, the average is 3,000. Department 10, the average is 4,400 and the highest one is Department 6, uh, 90, 19,000. Okay, so this is the average salary for each department. What if I said you want, uh, you only want to display uh, the department that has average salary greater than 7,000. So, that's the condition, isn't it? The average salary must be greater than 7,000. So normally this is what we will do. We add. We, we know that condition must, must be put inside the where clause, where average salary greater than seven thousand. So this is our condition. So if we execute this one, we cannot get the result. Why? Remember, group function cannot be used inside where clause. Okay, group function cannot be used inside where clause. So you will receive an error message. So how to make sure? Uh, how to make sure that the average salary greater than 7,000 to be conditioned in our SQL, we need to use having clause. If you have a condition that involves group function, we need to have having clause. So having average salary greater than 7,000. So then we will get the answer. See, all the average salary now is greater than 7000 so the this having clause you can put before the group by clause or you can put after the group by clause there's no problem you still can get the answer however normally we will group the data first then we put a condition that looks more logic okay we group all the data first something like this we group all the data first then we put a condition having average salary greater than 7000 so remember having clause can only be used if you have a condition that involves group function so what if uh, we want to uh, get all the all the department id in 50 80 and 90 here so this condition involves no group function if there is no group function, just make sure you have the where condition over here. Okay, where condition is enough. Okay, then if you want to have another having, having average salary greater than 7,000. Okay, so this one also if we implement out of these three different departments, only department 80 and 90 has the average salary greater than 7,000. Take a look, we both have... Uh, uh, have two different conditions here department ID in 850, 80, and 90. Another one average salary greater than 
7000. So we have two different condition. One involves group function. One is not involving any group function. So the non-group function condition will be inside where clause. The condition that has a group function is inside having clause. Let's move on to the next example. Select department ID maximum salary from employees group by department ID having maximum salary greater than 10,000 order by department ID. So if we execute this one, we want to find the maximum salary for each employee uh, for each department. However, the uh, the maximum salary must be greater than 10,000. But what if I want to change this one to become minimum? Select department ID minimum salary from employees group by department ID having maximum salary greater than 10,000 order by department ID. If we execute this one, is there any problem? Take a look. We select minimum. Our condition is about maximum. Is there any problem? No, there's no problem. Because why? Your condition is about maximum but you want to display the minimum. So there's no problem. Same goes like this one. For example, select uh, last name and also their higher date from employees where where salary greater than 10,000 take a look we select last name and higher date but our condition is about salary is there any problem no we will display the employees uh, that has uh, the employees last name and also higher date that has salary greater than 10,000 there's no problem Okay, because you want to display the last name and higher date, but your condition is about salary. So, it can be executed. Same goes with this one. You want to display the department ID and their minimum salary, but your condition is about maximum salary greater than 10,000. So, by right, there's no problem. But normally, we will display, uh, uh, display the column that has the condition so that it will be clearer to user. So, if we select this one, select the salary also it will be clearer same goes if we select the maximum then it will be clearer to use it so this is uh, all the department that has maximum salary greater than 10,000 so let's take a look at this example select job ID sum salary rename as payroll from employees where job ID not like REP uh, group by job ID having sum of the salary greater than 13,000 order by sum salary okay so we also can do the column LISA order by payroll okay there's no problem so let's execute this one okay so if you take a look these are all the clauses that we have learned up until now select from where group by having and order by remember where clause is for condition a normal condition and Having clause is for condition that involves group function. Okay, so it's not like if you have group function, you do use having clause. No, there's no problem if you don't have this having clause. You just if you don't have any condition that involves group function, you just have uh, the normal condition. That there is also no problem. You still can select. However, the data will be more. But if we implement another condition, the sum salary must be greater than thirteen thousand. Then of course, only few. Uh, job ID will be displayed in our table result because we impose another condition here. Let's take a look at nesting function. Group functions can be nested to a depth of 2 when group by is used. For example, we can have maximum sum, we can have maximum average, maximum count, minimum sum, minimum average, and minimum count. If you take a look at this SQL, this SQL cannot be executed. Why? If you use nesting group function, no other column can be selected together. Let's take a look at the implementation for more details. Let's take a look at nesting group function. As I said uh, just now, in nesting group function, we can nest up until two different uh, group functions. For example, we can have maximum average, uh, minimum average, maximum count, minimum count, uh, maximum, maximum sum, and minimum sum. There's only six possibilities of combination of this, uh, of this group function. For example, if I want to know the average salary 
from employees group by department ID, this is what I will get. So if we want to know the maximum one, let's say order by one descending. So we will get the highest one will be on the top. So this is the maximum average salary. So what we can do is we can add another uh, another group function here, maximum. Maximum of average salary. So the result would be 19 thousand here so this is the maximum average salary same goes we can find maximum sum salary okay we can get maximum count okay count uh, count is uh, depends on how many employees lah okay then we can also have the minimum minimum count same goes minimum sum okay minimum sum and also minimum uh, average Okay, so we can have this, uh, this particular two different nesting group functions. Okay, however, if you take a look, select maximum average salary from employees group by department ID. So if you take a look this one, the maximum average salary for the departments is 19,000. But we don't know uh, which department has the 19,000, isn't it? If we did something like this, select average salary and we select also the department ID then we will know we order by order by two descending okay so if we execute this one then we will know okay we will know that department 90 has the maximum average uh, average salary and department 50 has the minimum average salary because we sort uh, the result then we will know however can we do it this way select department ID maximum average salary from employees group by department id so if we execute this one we, we it will return an error message because if you if you do the nesting group function you cannot select any other column anymore okay you cannot select any other column if you have the nesting group function so you just have the value but how can i know which department has this value you need to use the um, what we call as um, mm, subquery. Okay, I forgot the name. It is subquery. For example, select select the, the subquery. You will learn in lesson seven. So I just want to show you the how to do it. Select department ID, and I want to select the average salary from employees. From employees uh, group by group by department ID. So if we if we run this SQL, then we will get uh, we will get um, we will know that the maximum one would be department department ninety. Okay, we'll have this value department ninety will have this maximum. But if we execute this one, we will know that the maximum one is ninety thousand. But which department will have? Then we can use the having class having average salary equals to this maximum value okay so if we run one by one we will get this one as 19 get okay, this one as 19,000 19, if we execute this one one by one also, we will get all of these results. So now from this result, which department has the average salary greater than 19,000? So let's run everything together. Then we will know department 90 has the average salary of 19,333. I hope you get this one. We will go through this again in our lesson 7 later on on subquery. So I guess that's all for now. See you again in the next chapter. Thank you.